What is going on everybody? My name is Northy and today I am super excited to be opening up my first box of Footy Stars 2022 Prestige. Obvious things to get out of the way. Uh, how many boxes do I have? I have a total of five Footy Stars Prestige boxes. I managed to get four while in Tasmania on my trip. I'm very, very lucky that I have this many. Uh, however, this one was the one I was guaranteed. Uh, I am an SCC member, just became one this year, and so I got a box of uh, Prestige right off the rip, basically. No competition for it. So here we are. I've got my SCC box right here. I've got another four waiting for me, and I believe, yep, there it is. It's in that white box behind. So I am very, very excited to be showing this off to you guys. I have got it face backwards. There's some details on the back that I'm hoping to kind of keep a secret. Uh, obviously, don't want to be showing off too much. So... I'll open it up from the back. Yeah, you're gonna have to trust me from this point, but from the back, just a bunch of air pockets here. Just a bit of air to keep it all safe. However, I am gonna put this upside down. There we are, beautiful. Flip it, I've opened it already. Bang, Footy Stars Prestige. Welcome to the first box break on the channel. Uh, I am in, uh, I think tomorrow, I think tomorrow, as soon as I'm done with what I'm doing, I'm going to be doing a double box break, as I have four, so I have a little bit to work with. But, Footy Stars Prestige 2022, you can see here, we got Classify, Brownlow Leaders, Brownlow Predictors, Virtuoso, and Virtuoso Signatures. There are six signatures. I cannot remember the teams off the top of my head. I don't think it says it anywhere in the box, which is fine. But, uh, very, very excited to finally have my hands on something like this. You can see here, see right there, eight premium cards per pack. 24 packs per box. I'm gonna try and make sure that everything's in focus, doing it all right for you guys, and uh, hopefully we can have a bit of fun with this one today. Uh, obviously, 24 packs is not as much as the regular footy stars that we expect. However, it has become quite normal with the prestige release to uh, get rid of a few of the packs, take out a card per pack, uh, and also make the cards better for the most part. And uh, I did give my reaction to when it was first announced. Uh, a bit iffy, a bit iffy about it. However, I'm really interested in seeing what we can manage to get. In these five boxes, I cannot remember the odds off the top of my head, but I believe I have about half a one in two chance with all the boxes I have of pulling a Virtuoso. So I'm hoping that we get a bit lucky there, as well as I think a one in five out of all the boxes I have in pulling a Virtuoso signature. And if we get both somehow, I won't know what to do. <laughs> but nonetheless, Footy Stars 2022 Prestige. Let's see what we can do here. I'm not going to blabble on too much now. We'll go through all the odds in that uh, as we do get a bit closer. But I'm going to quickly just try and rip into this small bit here. So then we can just get straight into it. But I'm super excited. Hopefully some big pulls. I'm not too sure. The great thing about Prestige this year, the one thing I did like is that everything is numbered. Every pack has a numbered card. And the little hidden fact that uh, I completely forgot about, because usually it's so expected, no dud packs. There were dud packs and I remember them very, very clearly um, in previous years. Uh, there, there were dud packs in previous Prestige releases, but now we are going with the full, like, everything. There's there's everything ready to go. Every single box will have a... Oh, sorry. Every single pack will have a card, an insert. That is numbered, so uh, a lot to look out for. Uh, one of the things I'm a bit annoyed at is um, the amount of parallels as the cards. Oh, my God. The packs look beautiful. There we are. It looks a bit nicer now, but whew, here we go. Flip these ones open, flip these bad boys open. The packs, I'm told they're like a wax finish. They feel the exact same as last year's Prestige packs. And they look beautiful, so I'm not complaining whatsoever. Let us see what the odds are. Uh, I'm going to check the back here. Um, I'll try and read them because the camera doesn't like focusing on things. There we are, that's a little bit better. But we got ourselves Game Breakers 450, uh, one, one per three. We've got ourselves Pink Parallel, which are one per four. Orange Parallel are one per six. Blue are 12 and green are 22. There is a chance for double green uh, and I believe double blue is guaranteed. But uh, an extra parallel compared to last year. So we've got four parallel cards in there. 
Gonna be a lot of parallels, I imagine. Milestone games are one per 12, so you get two of them per box, which isn't, uh, I'm not really stressed about it. I'm not interested uh, because I do have most of the milestone game cards uh, in just regular footy stars, so I don't know why they've done that. Classified is now, instead of the regular classified, it is now black classified, which is great looking. I love the look of it, but if you guys watched the um, preview to it and the reaction to the live stream, uh, you would know that my thoughts on it are the fact that it should have been in Jumbo. It shouldn't have been in Prestige, but that's uh, something we're well past now. Brownlow Leaders is returning. We've also got ourselves um, the Brownlow Predictors, which are one in every four boxes. Virtuoso are one in every 240 packs, which off the top of my head is 10 boxes. So like I said, got half a chance and then Signature Redemptions are one per 900. 900, that is a lot, which means I believe one in every or a little under one in every 40. I think it's one in every 36 boxes. I'm not sure about that. Do not quote me on that, but uh, we'll see. Uh, that's my that's my first guess. But nonetheless, let's get into our first pack. Let's stop talking. You guys want to see, and I'm interested to see what our first pack is looking like. Uh, I haven't opened footy stars in so long. There we are. Get it ripped into. And of course, the foil finish, the foil touch to the cards, which I have to be careful. These will reflect quite easily. You can see there, it's basically a mirror. <laughs> so you guys will see me quite clearly if I do show myself. Well, I got, so I've got to be careful about that. But Shea Bolton to start. Got ourselves a beautiful Aaron Norton. Uh, I'm interested to see where the inserts are going to be. So that's number two. Number three is Jack Martin. Then we've got ourselves Nick Haynes. And after that, we've got ourselves a pink parallel as our first one. So uh, four inserts in should be every single... Uh, four cards in should be every single insert as we start off with a Darcy Moore pink parallel and now I love the look of the parallels I think they're great. However another insert another common set to, to worry about if you manage to get every single common set for this year Congratulations, you're you're unreal, but Darcy Moore we're starting off with first and of course every card is numbered We got number 235 of 325 so a little bit of a mix up there. We've got um, some interesting ones uh, the numbers is looking a little different to the regular footy stars. They look, I don't know, a little bit more compacted, like smaller almost. Nonetheless, we'll take a cheeky Darcy Moore to start this one off. And we don't really care too much about the rest of the comments. But nonetheless, that is our first pack of Prestige. Uh, so you'll get an idea as to how everything uh, goes for the most part. Uh, like I mentioned, will probably be a lot of parallel cards. Um, I believe, like, there's some that are one in every three, one in every four. It gets pretty crazy. Um, there's only the two Milestone cards and the one Game Breakers card, if I'm remembering correctly. Sorry, no, Game Breakers are one in every three. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a classified that a box hits, and the Milestones that are one in every two, sorry, two in every ca uh, box. Oh, man, I can't speak. <laughs> we got ourselves a Tim Taranto to start here, a Nick Vlosten. Love the look of that. We've got ourselves a Harris Andrews, a Caleb Sarong, and our next one is going to be a Game Breakers, it looks like. Uh, one in every three, as I mentioned, it is a Logan McDonald. I really wish they did a back 50. It's got a really nice finish to it. I really like the finish. It's got that nice little rainbow shine across the entire thing. Uh, it looks a lot better in person. It doesn't look as good um, on camera, but in person, it's very nice. Um, and then that'll be it there, but... Of course, everything is numbered this year. Everything is numbered, so we'll check the back. It is number 169 of 750. So, very difficult to get yourself a low number here, but if you manage to get one, congratulations. That is a massive hit. Two packs in. I feel like we've been talking too much. Let's keep it moving. We'll speed it up as we keep going, uh, but hopefully we manage to get ourselves a big one. Uh, we've got Lockie Neal to start here. Ben McAvoy. Nat Fife. Uh, Josh Dacos, and we're getting another pink parallel, it's looking like. I see dogs. Bailey Smith. That's a good one. I like that Bailey Smith. Nice. And that'll be it for that. But yeah, we'll try and speed it up a little bit now. Bailey Smith looking really nice. Oh, the parallels look is great. Number 65. That's a decent number. Would have been nice to get a really low number of Bailey Smith. He would have been really high. He would have been highly sought after, is what I'm trying to say. But get some. I, I like the parallels. They look great. Again, I wish there were less of them. But I cannot complain about the look of them. They look stunning. They look great. We've got ourselves to start this one, though. Jacob Hopper. Uh, Sebastian Ross. Jack Rewalt. 
Oh, okay. So, it looks like when you get a over-the-box hit, which we have here, it goes to three cards and then you get the big hit. And it looks like a Brownlow Leaders. So let's have a look at the team. We're getting ourselves, of course, 2021 Brownlow Leaders. We have revealed that. Do we know what team it is? I can't tell off the top. But we go up. Tom Stewart, eight Brownlow votes. Not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not crazy of it. But we also got ourselves an insert behind it. Getting ourselves a Ben Ainsworth for the Gold Coast Suns. Of course, the lovely finish on the card. So there are oh, two insert packs. Again, I like that. I like that every pack has an insert. And then there's packs that have two. We get number 647, <laughs> Ben Ainsworth. Uh, pretty high number. <laughs> pretty high one, but a Tom Stewart. Number eight. Oh, sorry. What am I saying? Eight brown low votes is what I'm saying. 2021 brown low leaders. Let's see what number. 29 of 80. All right. I know that's not his number. That's Cam Guthrie. Would have been nice to get Cam Guthrie. <laughs> it would have been helpful, but that's fine. But Tom Stewart is a gun this year. He's definitely had his fair share of good games so far. We'll chuck him right there. I would have liked to get my big player a little later, but I think that takes out the chance of us getting anything better than a box hit, which is fine. That's absolutely fine. We'll get, we've got plenty of chances, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got four more chances after this box, but nonetheless, a really, really nice start. Got uh, Tom Green. Harry Mackay, Chad Wingard, and a blue parallel steel side bottom. Okay, we've got a lot of Collingwood so far for the parallels. Not bad. Anything behind it? No. So that was three cards in. Okay. <laughs> it's getting a bit more sporadic now. So it's not anything set in stone. But steel side bottom. Like that one. Not number. Number 39 of 110. Nice. We'll take that for sure. A blue parallel looking really, really good. Green parallels, if I remember, are the best ones. But we'll keep speeding it up. I think that's the second best off the top of my head. It goes pink, then orange, then blue, then green for the parallels. So we'll wait to see what all the others look like. We've got Tim English, Hugh McCluggage, Jack Gunston, Zach Williams, and there's the orange. We've got ourselves an orange parallel. It's going to be Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody, Oh man, this uh, this is the probably the right time to bring up his retirement happened today. I think a lot of people would have known that already, but uh, thank you for everything you've done, Tipper. We're pulling an orange parallel for him. Great stuff. A low number would be great as well. Number 19, we'll take it. That's beautiful. I also just noticed that they've got the jumper number on the back to help out with people who uh, I haven't realized, but number 19 of 210, that's a low number for the man himself like that one. That's a beautiful pull. Oh man, I'm loving all of these cards so far. They look great. The parallels look great. I wish that they did something different instead of just like the base in different colors, but uh, beggars can't be choosers and sometimes it's just the way it goes. We've got Steel Sidebottom, Jack Graham, Max King, uh, Luke Ryan, and we're getting ourselves another pink parallel. It's going to be Luke Parker. Nice. He's doing himself uh, a decent season so far. But pink parallel, Luke Parker. The nice little pink stripe down the middle is really, really nice on this card. But check the back. Number 83 of 325. I like this. I like being able to show the number of every single card. It makes it a lot more entertaining. But uh, one thing I will also mention as well. Looks like there is no su such thing as SCC member luck. <laughs> looks like there's no such thing, unfortunately. But what can you do? It's not going to go for you every single time. Steven Cornelia. Uh, Jamie Elliott. Dusty, nice to get his foil, and this is a black classified card. I'm really excited to show this one off. Black classified, number to 60 for Carlton. Oh, Sammy Walsh, Sam Walsh, black classified. Oh, what a pull. This is a really, really nice pull. Okay, I'm really excited for this. Because if it's a low number, there's only 60 of them. And I know Sam Walsh is a really, really popular one right now. So getting one of his 60 is amazing. What a pull. Black classified Sammy Walsh. Moment of truth. Let's find out what number it is. Classified number 23 it is. Bang! 34! Ah! Damn. Would have loved a jumper number. Would have loved a number one. But a Sam Walsh number 34. We will take it. There's only 60 of them printed. So it is a very highly sought after card. Really, really happy to have this one. Whew. What a 
Ooh, nice pull. Definitely sleeving this bad boy up. Oh, man. And it's the beauty of release day. It's the beauty of ship shipping day. Whatever it may be. Whatever you want to call it. Is that cards like this are uh, probably at its highest value. At its highest value. Um, especially if there's no, like, number significance. Make the most of your cards. Make the most of them. But we got ourselves here. Daniel Rich next. Uh, Paddy Cripps. Uh, Adam Trelaw, and there's a Game Breakers, number to 750, as always. Josh Kennedy, nice. Would like to get a number. Imagine getting a number 700. I know that was recent. If we get a 700, that makes it worth it. But Game Breakers, 450. Let's see. It is number 384. <laughs> I know that the likelihood of getting a number 700 is really, really uh, low. <laughs> but nonetheless... We like it, Game Breakers. We'll take it. We'll take it. Next pack, hoping for some more big pulls. I think our, our next big one is going to be the green parallel. I love... Green is my favorite color, so it's always nice knowing that green is the one that everyone looks out for. Paddy Ryder, James Age. Ooh, look at this. The Footy Stars Prestige uh, checklist card, I think. If off the top of my head, I think it's a checklist card. It's the header card. Basically, we keep it moving. I like the look of it. Luke Bruce and another Game Breakers. We're getting ourselves Geelong. Gary Rowan. Nice. We'll take it. I'd like to see a um, big name for our Game Breakers. Would be really, really nice. There's 750 chances to do so. But this one is number 325. Nearly bang on in the middle. Same with the Josh Kennedy. That was even closer to bang on in the middle. We've got a lot of big hits so far. And we're not that far in. So... We'll see how it travels for the rest of this video. But let's see. Can we get anything bigger? Nathan Wilson, Zach Bailey, Zach Jones, and Game Breakers. It is North Melbourne. It is Cam Zerha. Nice. Obviously, my name is Northy, so getting any North cards is great. Surely, like a low number, 001, that, that would be great. It is 539. <laughs> if he kicks 539 goals in his career... That is amazing, but not a notable number to say. That's unfortunate, but keep it moving. Nice to get a North Game Breakers, that's for sure. All right, next pack, we've got ourselves a Tom Liberatore to start. A Jacob Wiedering, Mitch Robinson, and it's a blue parallel, our second one. Woo! <laughs> what a pull! Christian Petraka. Nice! I'm taking that 100%. Could potentially be a low number two. Blue Christian Petraka, number to 110, if I'm remembering from the last one. So, a chance for a good one. We're getting... Bang! Number 37. Oh, oh that was very close. Would have been really nice to pull ourselves a big Christian Petraka. That would have been sleeved up immediately, but blue parallel Petraka is definitely not the worst blue parallel we could get ourselves. That is awesome. Again, I'm loving the fact that every card is numbered. It gives every single card a bit of excitement. And like it it helps ease the fact that you are getting <laughs> you are getting pretty much the same from Footy Stars, except shiny. <laughs> we got ourselves Liam Shields to start though. Uh, Darcy Moore. Callan Ward. Michael Walters, and it looks like an orange parallel, Zach Jones. Local boy to me. And Zach Jones is not bad, 119 of 210. Nothing special for that one, unfortunately, but a uh, nice little Zach Jones ball. Next pack, let's see whether our uh, luck is still in here. Let's see whether we can keep going. But we've got ourselves Braden Maynard, James Warpel, uh, Rowan Marshall. What is this one? Oh, it's a milestone. It's what, our first of two milestones. So let's see what milestone we managed to get. It is Jake Kelly of the Adelaide Crows. It'd be nice. Oh, now that I think about it, a platinum prestige would be really, really nice. I'd be okay with that. A platinum prestige milestone card would be pretty good. Again, I wish they did more with the bigger milestones this year, uh, from last year, sorry. Like Sean Burgoyne, I believe Travis Boak, David Mundy, all those milestones. I think Travis Boak was this year. Actually, David Mundy was definitely last year. But number for this milestone card is 17. Okay, I will take that. Number 17 of 195. Again, the beautiful thing about having every number card is that you almost like guaranteed a low number at some point. I don't know. I guess it depends on the, on the meaningfulness of the card. Like if I got a low Sam Walsh, that'd be incredible. But, uh, no, it is just a low Jake Kelly milestone. I'm not too sure how many people are interested. But, starting this one off with Jared Lyons. Sammy Walsh. Good to see you again. Jack McRae. And, oh, some green. So, this is our potentially final big hit. There is a chance we get two. But, uh, it's by two packs. By two packs. If by chance we somehow do it, 
that'd be kind of crazy but nonetheless this one is numbered to 60 it is it's got red socks it is christian salem okay i'm not cra a crazy fan of um the christian but it's a melbourne player number to 60 potential for some good value here if it is low if it is jumping up but we'll see what happens but turn it around Number 30 of 60. Unfortunately, we are not getting ourselves any value with this card, I don't think. Christian Salem, though, isn't a bad player. He's definitely not a bad player. However, we got Petraka in blue. Um, I don't know if we got lower. No, we definitely didn't get lower with Petraka. But there is a green parallel card for um, the box. Potentially more, but I don't think it is possible with that Brownlow leaders, Tom Stewart. We've got ourselves Jack Crisp, Tommy Lynch, Tim Membry. Uh, are we getting salt? Andrew Brayshaw. And a pink parallel. It is going to be Dom Shee, the 2018 Grand Final man. Love to see that. And he is number 306 of 325. That is a high number. Next pack. Let's see what we can find ourselves here. Uh, we've got ourselves a Tom Mitchell to start this one. Uh, Toby Green. Brody Grundy. Dion Prestia. And another Game Breakers. We are finding ourselves a Port. Todd Marshall. Man, no crazy big name from Game Breaker so far, which is kind of crazy. I'm kind of shocked that there's no massive name so far from Game Breakers, because you get so many of them. Thankfully, we've got a North one, but Todd Marshall, what number? 196 of 750. Next pack, we've got ourselves Lucky Whitfield, uh, Jack Silvani, we've got Will Day, and another Game Breakers, uh, St. Kilda, it's looking like. Jack Higgins. Oh, I thought it said Jack Steele. There is no Jack Steele, but I got excited when it said Jack. I got really excited. Jack Higgins, though. What number are we going to get here? Number 238 of 750. Again, nothing crazy about that number, but we'll take it. Next pack. Oh, this one is not opening nicely at all. <laughs> Let's hope there's nothing too crazy in here. Uh, that'd be absolutely... Oh, speaking of Jack Steele, though. There he is. Adam Saad. Lucky Hunter. And... Oh, Marstone for the doggies! Jason Joe Hannison. Now, I think it was like the Jays or something were really weird with the original one. They look kind of normal with this one. I think that was the problem. I think the J looked like an I on the original press, uh, on the original footy stars. But nonetheless, there's a prestige milestone card. Our second one, and it is numbered. Oh, really low. 003. Oh, that was very, very close. Oh, man. Number three is not a bad number, but it is not Joe Hannison's. Uh, unless I'm stupid. I think that's Mitch Wallace's. I think that's Mitch Wallace's number, but... Oh, that is low. That is really low. Oh, so close. Next pack, we're starting with Caleb Daniel, Dane Zorko, Sean Darcy, uh, Jack Billings, and we're getting ourselves an orange parallel. It is Mitch Duncan of the Geelong Cats. Okay, that's not a terrible one. I'd like to see a North parallel at some point. There's not too many packs left, but we can manage to clutch it up. That'd be great. Here's numbered... 209 of 210. So close to eBay 101. Oh, wow. That would have been beautiful. That would have been crazy. The, the numbers make this, like, add a whole new, like, source of entertainment to these packs. They make every single pack feel exciting. And I think it would be really, really good for hobby shops. I think this is, a, this is the perfect blend between Footy Stars and Jumbo. They're unique. They're, like, limited. Uh, but at the same time, they're also, like, very much worth it. Every single card can potentially be big. Every single card can be numbered well. You never know. But Marcus Bontempelli to start this one. Bradley Hill. Shane Edwards. And a pink parallel. Jack Rewalt. That's not a bad one to pull. I will take that for sure. We keep getting North players behind him. That's not what we want. Jack Rewalt though. Pink parallel. He is numbered. 133 of 325. Third last pack here. We're going to Taylor Adams. Tim Taranto. Uh, Nick Vlosten. And it is Jared Witts. He's been playing alright as a late. He's been playing okay. And he is numbered 254 of 325. Second last pack here. Unfortunately, we did not get a Virtuoso in these packs. Uh, obviously, with a Brownlow Leaders uh, card just before. But I've still got four more chances, which gives me a lot of hope. Sam Doherty to start this one. Yegro Mira. Josh Kelly. Uh, Scott Pendlebury. And a Orange Parallel. It is going to be... Caleb Sarong, that's a nice one. Oh, it'd be so nice to get a 003 for this one. Instead of uh, Jason Johnson. Oh, my <laughs> God. So close. 008. Wow. Oh, man. A low number is great for a player like this. But a number three is what we were looking for. 
Oh, you're such a tease, Select. You're teasing me. I can't believe that. So, so nice. That was a, that's a half decent way to, to finish it off. Definitely some value in that card for sure. Making up for the lack of value with that Tom Stewart, unfortunately. But Charlie Cameron to finish off our last pack. Trent Cotchin, David Mundy, and Paley Smith. And Game Breakers, it is a Brisbane Joe Danaher. Okay, that's a nice one. I'll take a Joe Danaher. He is numbered 166 of 750. So, that is the end of Footy Stars Prestige. What I say the box was worth it, I think right now, in its current state, yes. Um, a Sam Walsh classified is definitely huge. This one, probably not as much. Tom Stewart, Brownlow Leaders. It is one in every two boxes, these ones. So, the most likely over-the-box hit you'll get. But just in, in amongst all of that are some really, really nice numbered cards. So, we've got ourselves um, that Caleb Sarong here. This one was really nicely numbered. Number 008. That Jason Johannesson milestone that I'll quickly show off here. That was number 003. Can't remember off the top of my head any other major ones other than the green Christian Salem. Really, really nice. The Petraka was really good. I was happy with that. That was number 37 of 110. Just a lot of value in these cards, I think. I think the, the low numbers and the high high target players are the ones you really want to look out for, especially on release day for Prestige, because that's when they're at their highest value, unless they're things like Virtuosos, Virtuoso 6, stuff like that. The highest value cards you'll probably get are uh, with your inserts. And so when you can get cards like Petraka, we got two major Melbourne cards today, which is not bad at all. Petraka and Salem Green. I think this Sam Walsh has potential to be my highest um, one. Caleb Sarong may be all right. I think Caleb Sarong, especially as Fremantle, get a bit better throughout the year. He'll go up a little bit in value. We'll see what happens, but I am not at all like disappointed with this, especially considering like my hopes are high. I have a lot more. I have many more boxes to go. So we'll see what happens, but... I am really, really keen to see what the rest of my boxes have, but I hope you guys enjoyed this box. It gives you an idea as to how everything looks. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like. I'm going to be doing my double box break tomorrow. My plan is also to have um, some more uh, pack openings out throughout the next three weeks. So Prestige won't just be for this week. I'll be able to manage to uh, space it out between three weeks. Um, eight packs in each video, maybe a clip in between or before the packs, but we'll see what happens nonetheless. Footy Stars Prestige, that is my first look. That is potentially your guys' first look at what a box of Footy Stars Prestige looks like. I'm happy to say that um, it's pleasantly surprising. Every single pack has a numbered card, although not every numbered card is great. It's really nice to know that every single pack has a lot of opportunity. Hopefully, you guys also enjoy Prestige. I was a little skeptical to start. Still am. I still think they could have done something differently. But I'm really, really excited to see what my other boxes of Prestige has and what you guys managed to get. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Again, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, hopefully, I will see you all in a future video. Goodbye.